सीनियर आए हैं रिक्वेस्ट द मीडिया टू काइंडली बी सीटेड प्लीज रिक्वेस्टिंग द मीडिया टू काइंडली बी सीटेड एंड टेक द पिक्चर्स I request the media to kindly be seated. all our media friends we will be giving you an um, another opportunity to have more pictures towards the end May I now request Varun to kindly sign the mugs for us? floor is now open for q&a may i now request uh, all the media to come ahead for a group media bite with varun may i also request uh, the media to one moment before think, that uh, yeah. we'll take a few questions from the audience uh, and let me ask him the first question so uh, do you feel like say in the time of social media uh, box office sales uh, and how does it affect but uh, you know everybody's on twitter and it's a huge multiplex phenomena so how does it uh, affect uh, a movie's performance uh, i think box office definitely uh, kind of uh, forms a perception whether a film is good or bad but uh, in the smaller centers the bnc centers uh, over there i don't think so uh, twitter will have that big an impact then like how it will have in a city like bombay i think what uh, social media does is if suppose a reviewer or a journalist writes a review 
So that spreads very fast through the internet, that it's very good. But eventually nothing works more than the word of mouth, I think, of people. And that is also something which uh, social media can spread really fast. But uh, eventually, when people go to the theater, picture, dekhte, what they feel. I mean, I've, I've seen that in Dishum right now because Friday we started at a certain amount because we were hit by rains on all three days. But besides the rains, every day we've seen the film climb and that's only because of what people have seen in the theater. Though, surprisingly, we actually got really good uh, critical reviews as well. Are you uh, personally happy about social media? Uh, do you feel personally. it's like, like a platform where you can clarify, um, you know, every time there's a controversy or whatever? Honestly, I enjoyed social media more when I was in college, uh, when I was in Nottingham and uh, Facebook had just started. I was on the peak of enjoying social media that time. And it was more exciting for me that time. Now it's, it's fun when, when there's something, like recently at the Kapil Sharma show, I did that Tahir Shah thing. So, I mean, doing something like that and when that breaks on social media, then there's, fun, I mean, the fun things are fun, but uh, there are some not so fun things also, so it's a part and parcel, I think, of the game. But you're largely safe. Yeah, I, I don't, I'm largely pretty safe. I don't think so people hate on me that much. They, I mean, you, you hate on everyone. At the end of the day, everyone gets abused on social media, once at least. You're not popular if you don't get abused on social media. Okay, I'll throw open the floor to the others. Uh, Please identify the media you and one question each. Each of you will get your uh, time and opportunity, but please identify yourself. Uh, Varun Sonok from Indian Express. Uh, why was the ending of Dishum abrupt? Uh, what happened to Akshay Khanna? Uh, you know, uh, did you guys kill him or was he handed over to the Indian authorities or did he escape so that we get to see, see a sequel of Dishum? See, we, uh, we again, you, Akshay Khanna's name is Alam Baji. Uh, we purposely kept the ending kind of open-ended in that uh, in that flow because we didn't want to give away what exactly would happen. But uh, according to the law, obviously he would be taken in by the Indian authorities and then prosecuted according to that. Uh, he he might have been tried for murder as well in uh, Abu Dhabi in the Middle East because he did kill someone as well. We showed in a scene, but we wanted to leave it little open-ended because. If a sequel is on the cards or no, that we'll know soon enough. Also, why does Pakistan get touchy every time we have a slight reference to them in their film? I don't know. Yeah. I wish I also knew this. I wish I could solve it because uh, this is something that really uh, upsets me as well because I've been, since, like, I've been talking to my, when my grandmother was alive, she would talk to me about this and would say that I hope this issue gets solved. My parents talk about it. I hope it doesn't come to the stage where I'm talking to my children and we don't solve it. Uh, the reason why it upsets me is because I don't feel Dishum is a film that needed to be banned in Pakistan because it's a, it's a very clean film. And uh, in fact, I, the, the man who is from Pakistan, he helps us solve the case. We've shown him as in, in a good light, not in a bad light. And uh, uh, I, I am lost for answers. And I know so many people who want to watch it, in fact. So it's, that's what's sad. Also, one more thing. How, on a lighter note, how is it being called You Are My Boy by Akshay Kumar? That was pretty cool, actually. That that whole scene uh, was uh, improvised. That that bit in the scene is improvised. It's not written in the script. And uh, I think Aki is just amazing at what he does, and he's totally rocked that scene. Um, and uh, he's he's the way he's played uh, Samir Ghazi in the film. That's become one of the highlights. And I think everyone's and having Akshay Kumar play a role like that and pull it off is, I think, a great thing. And uh, uh, it's it's amazing. I, and I I got to share that moment with Akshay. I mean, I've grown up seeing him in so many comedies, so many films, but having to do a scene with him, and I know he does something, and he has that style of saying, hey, tu aana, aana, beta, aana, aana. Hey, ye thusle. So I've seen these things, but he was doing it with me. So I was doing the scene also with him, but I was excited about it as well at the same time. Varun on his center. Hi, how are you? Hi, I'm fine. Uh, first of all, many, many congratulations for the super success of Dushum. Thank you. My question is, nowadays we are seeing that uh, Bollywood is going more towards Hollywood. I mean, actress, hai, actor, hai, they are going towards Hollywood. So do you think that Hollywood is the only benchmark for Bollywood left now? That, you know, actually, that's a bit sad. Uh, uh, earlier, last year, I think during Dilwale, I had made a comparison in a joke, which some people took seriously for some reason. And I said it sarcastically. And uh, some people thought I was serious, and it became a thing. But uh, I don't think it should be a benchmark. Yeah. It's, it's a wrong thing. We are Indian. We have our own culture. We have our own standard. Obviously, there are so many things they do better than us, but there are a lot of things I feel we do better than them as well. So, okay. we have our own style, technology-wise and VFX-wise, they are quite ahead and we should get inspired. 
but uh, I don't think we need to ape them. We have our own storytelling methods and styles and stuff. And where song and dance is concerned, that is part of Indian culture, part of Indian movies, and I believe that should stay. Okay, on the same note, uh, on one hand, we have Priyanka Chopra who's doing very well on uh, in Western, but still, uh, there are some top popular Bollywood actors who uh, agree to do a blink and miss role. So, what's your take on that? I think Jitesh should answer this. Yeah, you should also answer. Well. He should definitely answer this. No, because uh, for that matter, because I've, he's seen more stars come and go than anyone has. So, I, what, what do you say about? Do you think Indian actors should do blink and miss roles in Hollywood films or? keep their stardom intact in India. Ask him if he wants me to answer this question. No, no, I'm sure I want to know what you feel. Uh, see, it's not a new phenomenon. Uh, everybody, I mean, Dilip Kumar has be, was offered, if I'm not mistaken, Lawrence of Arabia. And uh, it's not a new phenomenon. Uh, Persis Khambata did Star Trek 30 years ago. For, if you, uh, Amrish Puri had done. Amrish Puri much later in the 80s, Indiana Jones. I mean, so it's not anything new. But yes, it's interesting that people like Priyanka Chopra and Deepika Padukone are doing full-fledged leading roles and just being tokens. You know, okay, they have a brown man or a brown woman in the film. So that is, it's huge that Indian actors are being, I mean, if you see even Shabana Azmi and Om Puri when they did City of Joy, there was actually it was, it revolved around them, you know. So it's it's not a new phenomenon. It's been going on for over 40 years. And more power if our actors, and I really think whether it's a Mr. Bachchan or whether it's Shah Rukh Khan or whether... <laughs>